Abdullah ibn Salam was a Jewish rabbi. He heard and read and learned about the signs of the coming prophet and where he would come and what he would look like and what he would say. He says, when the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, arrived in Medina, I was keen on going to look at what this man looked like and what he said because I knew from the previous scriptures what to look out for. So he says, as he came into Medina, I tiptoed to get a glimpse of him. I tiptoed to get a glimpse of him because he was crowded by companions who were already Muslim. And what did he say? He says, I looked at this beautiful face, amazing face. And his words were calm and clear and correct and upright. And he was saying, Ayyuhannas, Afshu salam, wa atu'imu ta'am, wa silu al-arham, wa sallu bil-layli wa nasu niyam, tadkhulu jannata rabbikum bisalam. As soon as I heard this, I knew this is a messenger of Allah. Straight away. What, what's the meaning of it? He says, oh people. So this man is listening to the Prophet, peace be upon him, say, oh people. Spread salam. The term salam means peace, but it has a much deeper meaning than just mere peace. It's the greeting as well. Assalamu alaikum. Greet everyone to salim ala kulli man arafta wa man lam ta'rif. A teaching of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Greet those you know and those you don't know. Many of us, we only follow half of that. You know them, Salaamu Alaikum. You don't know them, they greet you. You look at them as though, no. what happened there? May Allah forgive us. What's the, what, what did you lose? Greet them. It's a prayer for them. May peace be upon you. The angels are saying, may peace be upon you too. Wow. Wow. So he heard the first words, Afshu Salaam, spread the Salaam. And feed people food. Be generous, be kind, don't be miserly, don't be stingy. Don't think of yourself, think of others, reach out to them with food. Feed the people as much as you can. Fulfill your family ties and relations. Learn to go out and mend that which is broken in terms of relations between you and your family members and the broader communities. Sulul Arham. And pray at night to the Lord while everyone is sleeping. Pray, pray often. Call out to your maker. And what will happen as a result? You will enter the paradise of your Lord with ease, with peace, with goodness, with kindness. This man, Abdullah ibn Salam says, when I saw this, it was a combination of everything put together. I immediately went up to him and I said, O oh messenger, I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship besides Allah. And I bear witness that you are indeed the messenger of Allah.